YouTube, Maysex, back with another video. And today we're going to be getting back to my positional rankings for the 2024 draft. Last positional video, we touched on the cornerbacks. Today we're going to be looking at my top five linebackers. Took me a little bit more time to be honest. That's why it's been a few weeks. So I definitely wanted to get this video out the way, but also I wanted to take a little bit more time to really be able to dive in a little bit more. So we're going to go ahead and get into that now. But before we do that, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Odds are you clicked on this video because you're a football fan and that's what this channel is all about and we're on the road to 1k that's the first milestone for this channel so you doing so does help the channel grow but enough with all that we're going to get back into the rankings we're going to look at my top five linebackers and without further ado let's get to it all right, starting at number five, we're looking at Junior Colson out of Michigan. Listed at six foot three, 247 pounds. Colson's kind of that old school or throwback linebacker. 250 pounds, you don't really see stand-up linebackers at that size anymore. With that, I think he'll come right in and be able to create some type of role for himself with the capability of taking on that NFL physicality in the trenches. Probably, I'd say, from what I've looked at, the best run-stopping linebacker in the class. He absorbs blocks, pulling guards very well. But with that size of 250 pounds, the agility and that explosion. Plenty of juice sideline to sideline. And I feel with that combination of size, he will be able to carve out a role and potentially be a starter at some point in his NFL career. I will say sometimes his aggression can cause him to overrun plays, which can lead to explosive plays in the run game. But overall, Junior Colson, he's a project type of linebacker that could blossom into something really special. All right, at number four, we're looking at Maurice Luafu out of Notre Dame. Listed at six foot two, 239 pounds. Had a solid year last year, 12 games, around 600 steps. I will say, statistically, you look at this guy, he's not going to blow it off the charts with the tackles, tackles for losses, interceptions, and whatnot. Just looking at him, looking at a few games of his play, his motor, and how he finds a knack to be around the field, I just really think that he could also project into a really good NFL star. Starter, I think he has a feel to make plays and coverage as well. He has that instinct that you can't coach. It's something about watching him. I love his aggression at the point of contact. When he hits you, you feel it. Runners don't fall forward when he tackles you. They fall backwards. At number three, we have Peyton Wilson out in North Carolina State. Listed at six foot four, 238 pounds. A really busy, really productive 2023. I think that's what really put him on the radar as a draft prospect. He's an older prospect, five-year guy, but last year, 138 tackles, three interceptions, and six sacks. In every facet of the game on defense, he made plays. Very versatile, and he can fit in multiple schemes. I envision him in multiple schemes. Some players are more scheme dependent. I think that Wilson provides a lot more versatility than maybe your average linebacker. Very athletic in pursuit has really tremendous closing speed and that's exemplified by his six sacks at the linebacker position if i had to say based on what he looks like on film i could see him running sub four five seven that wouldn't surprise me at all and at six four 240 that's tremendous and i think that'll probably raise his stock and he plays with motor and that's what coaches are going to want to see from you especially if you're trying to make a roster may need to bulk a little bit like i said he's a taller linebacker prospect kind of like an urlacher so there's some size that he can continue to build in this frame especially when it comes to the physicality of the nfl but this guy if he can stay healthy this guy will be a starter all right, my number two linebacker, and this was extremely tough, but I'm gonna go with Edgerin Cooper out of Texas A&M, listed at six foot three, 230 pounds. Had an excellent year last year. Pro Football Focus had him rated at a 90.8, which was second amongst all linebackers in the nation. 83 total tackles last year in 2023, eight sacks, an excellent blitzer. That's what first jumped off the video for me. He understands how to pursue the quarterback position position so if linebacker doesn't work out i could very well see him switching over to more of an edge rusher role and he has the length and the frame to be able to do so so that versatility right there is going to boost his stock because rushing the quarterback will always be a premium especially in today's era and edgerin cooper has that versatility to be able to stand up or put his hand in the dirt he has outstanding range 
can go sideline to sideline literally and make a play. Wouldn't surprise me if Edron Cooper runs sub 4-5. He's gonna jump well. His shuttles and short agility drills are gonna be off the charts just based off of how he looks on the field. I still think he's a little raw, but when it comes to ceiling, Edron Cooper may have the highest ceiling in the entire linebacking class. All right, and that leaves me with my number one ranked linebacker for the 24 draft class, and that's none other than Jeremiah Trotter Jr. out of Clemson. Listed at six foot, 230 pounds, the modern linebacker, the way he plays, this is what the NFL wants. Jeremiah Trotter Jr. has that lineage. Father Jeremiah Trotter played for the Eagles, one of their all-time greats on the defensive side of the ball. But Jeremiah Trotter Jr., he's your captain of the defense. Pro Football Focus rated him at an 85.6. He's very intellectual, very smart. You can tell he uses his brain just as much as his physicality. He understands the game. He's a trustworthy tackle. He's going to wrap you up and he's going to bring you to the ground. Not necessarily the flashiest hitter, but he's very textbook. He matched his sophomore production this past year in his junior year. 15 tackles for loss. They increased his blitz percentage, and he was able to match or surpass his sophomore numbers in two less games, which shows the trajectory that you're expecting, especially if you're gonna rate somebody as a number one linebacker. I think he's gonna be a day two pick, and I think he's gonna have a very good NFL career overall. All right, these are my top five linebackers for the 2024 draft class. A solid core overall. I don't see any elite prospects or whatnot, but still there's gonna be in this class some very good starters and contributable pieces at the next level. A 2.0 for all positions, just as a reminder, will be coming out. And as I always say, if you made it this far in the video, I deeply appreciate it. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. This really helps the channel grow and I deeply appreciate it. We got one more position to go over next and that's the interior defense alignment. So I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here and I'll see y'all in the next video. Cheat!